Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Warning! The following video is a parody, not to be taken seriously. So just keep that in mind as Lil Chihuahua Big World plays the role of a uh, aging female frauditor with her husband doing the interviewing and me trying to provide some humorous commentary as she attempts to play a rather deranged frauditor. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, Highway Star here. And this is a tiny bit of fun. Guess what? We got somebody very special here. And, uh, she claims she is the world's oldest female prodigy. Here she is, folks. Why don't you start by introducing yourself to the, to the masses out here? Oh, okay, I want to verify one thing first. And what's that? I ain't going to get paid for this. Yeah, you wouldn't be a frauditor unless you at least attempted to do some e-begging. So get on with it. Hit us with your best e-begging spiel or whatever. You're not getting paid for this? No. 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 Uh, yeah, oh. no dag nabbit, but oh, that's how it goes. Yeah. Well, I just have... As that young man over there said, I'm the world's oldest female frogger. Yes, I've been around the block a few times. Oh, yeah. Keep that to yourself. We don't want to hear anything about the your uh, times you went around the block. I mean, that's just tell us. Uh, just keep it in, keep it in the uh, scope of frauding. Nothing else, please. Oh, boy, have I been around the block. My goodness. Well, good Lord, just how old are you? I don't think the other guy could remember his age. Uh, maybe you, maybe you got a better memory. Well, Sonny, you be what I've been through and try to remember your age. Uh-huh. It ain't gonna happen. It's pretty hard, isn't it? When you've been around yes, the- Yes, it is. When you've been around the block up teen million times, huh? Highway Star, you just had to go there, didn't you? You just had to mention that, didn't you? Uh, could you keep it a little bit cleaner for our sake, please? We don't want to hear about her exploits like that. Oh, well. <laughs> Gotta stand up for our rights. Yeah, what rights are you talking of? I'm talking about our First Amendment rights. Everybody talks about First Amendment this, First Amendment that. Well, blah, Sonny, blah, blah. you gotta use them. Or you lose them. Uh, oh, you're going with the if you don't use them, you lose them kind of thing? Uh, well, uh, the F Third Amendment hasn't exactly been used in well over a century, and uh, we still have that right. I mean... This myth about losing our rights if we don't exercise them is just a lot of uh, BS to begin with. In fact, the opposite is proving to be a bit more feasible because the more you First Amendment auditors tend to uh, abuse the First Amendment, the more restrictions are being placed upon it. Now, it's not being totally taken away because, well, that would take an, uh, take an actual act of Congress to do, but more restrictions are being placed on it because of fools like you and the other auditors. Oh, no, don't, don't give us the old... First Amendment is like muscles. You see this muscle here? That's my First Amendment muscle. Oh, I shouldn't yeah, have done I, that. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. I know ah, that hurts. Sonny, <laughs> you just, you guys nowadays think you know everything. Well? We, we have seen a lot. Me and my buddies, we get out there and we name our cameras. And 
Oh yeah, it took a muscle on him. So we had to make sure we had him set up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... So what kind of equipment did you have to use back in the day? Oh my goodness, ah! You had to ask that question. <laughs> I know we had to take and set up a tripod and not these ones like you guys use nowadays. Uh -huh. We had to almost set up hours in advance to get oh, the wow. right shot. Oh, oh wow. yeah. So somehow you knew that there would be a traffic stop that would happen right on a particular spot on a particular day and you'd set up an hour in advance just to get a single shot of the uh, issue and uh, then go in and act like a complete jack wagon? Yeah, Missy, it sounds like that you really had no life to begin with. Yeah, just another unemployed, unemployable frauditor going around causing mayhem just because they have no uh, means of employment. Gee, nothing's changed. We had to make sure we were right there whenever the cops were doing their job, holding them accountable. So what was it? One of them kind that uh, you got underneath the cape no. and you held up the little I, stick? No, I'm not that old. Oh, you're not that old. Okay. No. Okay. It was one of those you had to crank. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I had such a big muscle, but I've lost it. That's why I'm saying the First Amendment is like a muscle. You gotta exercise it and use it or you'll lose it. Oh, I see. And so. these, these people nowadays, they're, they don't do it right. Yeah, how did y'all do it back in the day? We just filmed. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You just go out and film them, right? Now, if we saw something wrong, I don't think we would try to speak up. Well, that was fine and good in your uh, day, but apparently these days, these newer First Amendment auditors, uh, they want to see something wrong, so they create the problem and antagonize everybody around them until, well, the shit hits the fan and somebody ends up in a shiny new pair of bracelets. And it's usually the auditor that does it. By golly, we did. By heck, yeah. Yeah. And to the cops... Yeah, they, they might not have had badge numbers, or if they did, they didn't have to say them. Unlike now, where they have to. Mm. Okay, I'm going to treat you just like any other uh, frauditor out there. Citation needed for that claim, because if you uh, don't have evidence for your claim, then you have nothing at all. So, put up or shut up. Well, we gotta know who to request information on. Well, of course, exactly. So you gotta know, you gotta know who you're asking about when you go in and ask for the complaint forms, right? Dead gum right, you got that right. But you gotta be stern about it. You've got to tell them that you're the boss. You're their boss. They don't boss you around, you boss ah, them around. Ah, yeah, because let me, if I, memory serves, you pay for their salaries, right? Take them right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I hear this argument all the time for frauditors. But here's the thing. Your contribution to their salary may be only 0. 0.0000000. 1% of their salary because there are thousands of other people out there that contribute that through their taxes. Not just you, so you're not exactly their boss. But I'm sure that kind of logic and that kind of uh, math would fly above any frauditor's head, especially yours. And how many bad cops did y'all ever catch? 
He oh didn't. my goodness. I I know I personally didn't catch any. But I know really? people that have. Really? Yeah. Were they pretty famous? I know. I I don't give out my information that I have. <laughs> I can't do I that. I see. What is it y'all call it now? Docking or doxing or what? I, I can't do that. Yeah, I believe it's called doxing. I can't do that. And you know what? What? Not too long ago, Little Chihuahua interviewed an old guy. Sounds like you two guys might be about the same age. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. He's a softy. He's a softy. Oh, is he? Yes, News No Geritol's a softy. Oh. I know exactly who you're talking about. He's oh, a I exactly. think he's crossing over. Uh-oh, is he jumping the fence? I think coming, so. Coming to the good side? Yeah, because he told finding... me he told me about this channel and said I need to make a difference by telling my side. But he said that he was tired of seeing these I think he called them anti-frauditors. Yeah. Pooey on them. They yeah. don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, it, so it sounds like he told News Now Palpatine to just... News stick Now it. who? Palpatine. Palpatine? Yeah. Who is that? He was the leader of the dark side of oddity. Yeah, sounds like he told old Emperor Palpatine to just go s stick it. He, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I'll have to, I'm going to have to look that up and play catch up. Yeah, because these guys now, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they're stern. Yeah, they... They think they know the laws. Uh -huh. Not like we do. Yeah, yeah. You think you know the laws, but when you actually are put to the test, and no, you don't know jack squat about any laws. Just like any other frauder out there who thinks that they know the law. And when the time comes, uh, well, the law comes a knocking and they get jail time. Just ask Chile de Castro. Yeah. But yet, but yet, I heard of a auditor that got put in jail here a few days ago, I think it was. I, my memory is so foggy now, I can't remember his name. I don't yeah. know, and I don't care to know, but. He was done wrong. Well, I could tell you who he is, but uh, let's just uh, keep that on the back burner for now. But yes, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, I believe. He acted stupid in the court. And no, 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 yes, no, yes. no, 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 no. If he told the judge, if he told the judge that he could not do anything to him, that judge was supposed to just let him walk. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Oh no, it's not that easy. Uh, you just can't walk into a courtroom and declare that you're innocent of all charges. That would end up being anarchy because everybody would try to pull that BS and, uh, well, we would have no justice system and, well, crimes would go unpunished. And then we would have the real life version of the purge. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Even though he broke laws? Well, I bet you he didn't even challenge jurisdiction. Well, no, he didn't do that. That's where he missed. Uh-huh. Yeah, so he should have challenged jurisdiction and uh, maybe he'd have gotten off, you reckon? I know he would have. Ah. So, I don't know. It's just these auditors, uh, 
they can stand to be spend the day with us. Ones that know what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to come back and do another interview sometime? Oh, you know I do. Why? As long as Geritol yeah. ain't here. As long as Geritol's not here, yeah, we can arrange that. Yeah, and we'll... that little dog, he is adorable. Ain't he a little cutie? Yes, he is. What's his name? That's our little tiny. Ah. You haven't mean you mean you haven't seen his channel yet? You no, haven't seen none of his no, videos. No, I need to. Yes, you need to go straight over to Little Chihuahua Big World and he's he's gonna entertain you. Oh little he Chihuahua sure will. Big World. I've got to remember that. Yeah. But just remember everybody, and even you, young man. Yes. You've got to stand up for your rights or you will lose them. Oh, I do. Uh, yeah. Y'all think y'all don't have to have a camera. You do. You've got to record everything. Well, I don't have to record everything, but I do fight for the right to party. No, 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 no. Oh, not that kind, huh? No, oh, 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 not yeah. that time. I thought anyway, that's what you were getting at. Can I take a little rest now? Sure. All right. Well, I'm guys, sorry. we're going to let this little gal, she needs to get a rest. And uh, we're going to see if we can do a part two to this. How does that sound to you guys? Sound good? Just punch the like button and leave a comment down below. Wow, frauditors haven't changed that much in the past 50, 60, 70, 80 years. I mean, they're still just as dumb back then as they are now. And, uh, well, this video tends to show that. I mean, uh, you need better arguments. Your arguments haven't changed or anything else like that. Like I said before, get better material and try, try try harder next time to be well a bit more original more original than any other frauditor out there i mean come on now uh you gotta set yourself apart from the pack you gotta make yourself look like an individual rather than being a boot licking frauditor but hey you've managed to make it this far in life and i'm sure with probably a lot fewer arrests and a lot less jail time than certain uh Chili de Castro frauditors we know out there. So at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?